You mentioned vegetables a little bit, a plant, a healthy plant-based uh, diet. Uh, talk about some of the anti-cancer benefits of those, and do some have more than others? Uh, broccoli seems to be one that people talk about a lot when you mention anti-cancer foods. Well, first of all, plants have naturally occurring plant chemicals or phytochemicals in them. And think of eating the rainbow. Think about a wide variety of colors. So certainly broccoli and kale are that deep green spinach, but also think about things like pomegranate or persimmons or red cabbage, carrots, things that are filled with pigments. Those plant chemicals actually enter into the nucleus of the cell and alter our genes. So actually your food is talking to your genes and what we can do is turn on cancer suppressor genes and turn off oncogenes or tumor promoter genes and so it matters what you eat for this very reason. Now the broccoli cabbage family which includes kale is one of the superfoods has a chemical, a phytochemical called sulforaphanes and sulforaphanes actually interfere with every step of cancer development from that first proliferation turning a healthy cell into a tumor cell and then that cells growth and then the spread of cancer sulforaphanes actually inhibit or put the brakes on every step of cancer development which is why it's so powerful all the colorful pigments I just mentioned and also the garlic and onion family have plant chemicals that also inhibit tumor growth but your kitchen is a pharmacy so you can think about your spice shelf and if you use things like ginger and turmeric and rosemary and oregano all of these things that make food very flavorful also have these phytochemicals these plant chemicals that put the brakes on tumor progression.